Today we continue foundation prep, this time for the dome. And I think we have about three main tasks that we'd like to do today. Brian here is doing the first one, which is... Empty the last of the forms! Yeah, it's supposed to freeze tonight, so we want to make sure that at least the forms that have the P-traps and pipes in them are drained sufficient so that we don't have to worry about freezing water in the pipes. Plus, we'd like to get the water out of the rest of them as well. Is that right? That is correct. Okay, so that is task number one. You've got a few more to do. I'm just going to pan over. So the ones in there are still has a bunch. And we got a little swimming pool over here. It's a little cold, so I don't think I'm going to jump in. You? I'm going to take that as a no. $14, I don't have to pump anymore. What is this? It's a drill attachment to uh, make a uh, pump. I think it's really technically supposed to be like continuously you, you just use the drill to pump. But I'm gonna get this to get things started and then take the uh, hose off and then uh, the, it should start the siphon. So clever. Yeah. Hopefully it'll work. Are you yes. gonna you gonna try it now? Yep. There's not a lot of water in the form. No. Do you think it'll work still? Yeah. No. Try it. Here we go. Come on, baby, you can do it. Seems to be working. Second time Harbor Freight's actually got stuff that's worked, so. All right, let's get that water out of those forms. Yep. Nice. So now we're ready for Friday when it uh, really rains. Rains again. <laughs> well, we used a few more of those bricks when we were laying down the mesh for the garage than we had originally planned. So that means Brian gets to cut some more bricks so that we have enough when we lay them down on the dome foundation. So, would you like to demonstrate again? I would love to. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers for the price of one. Yep. So now, this time you only have about 70 more to go. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Tappy, tap, tap. <laughs> I convinced Brian that he didn't need me to help him cutting all those bricks. So I told him I really need to go inside and start bumping up some of my plants. He bought it. So I'm going inside because it's cold out here. Chairs are cut. They look really good. Didn't take long. You do I, good work. Well, I, I made it easy. I just put them all in one row and cut them all down the line and then just kind of tappy tap tapped and made it quick and easy. Nice. We usually do things better when we do them the second time around. Yep. Speaking of, yeah. Look at all that nice rebar. Isn't it beautiful? It really does look nice. Yeah. Too bad that they're too short. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah. Should have been 15 inch instead of 12. So now that we know that, that means you get to cut them all over again. 56 pieces. Fun. Yay. Well, like I said, you always do things better the second time around. Well, these won't go to waste either though. They'll go into the rebar, um, into the, the forms. There's three rows of rebar that'll go down and these can go across to strengthen it, so. Okay, so ultimately it'll be even yeah, stronger than it would have been. It's not gonna hurt anything. Let's just go with that, so it's an okay thing. We ran out of the standard rebar, so we went to go buy some more, and of course they didn't have any. But they did have this pink stuff, which I've never seen before. What is it? It's pink rebar! Pink rebar? No, <laughs> it's pink rebar! <laughs> I can't say it, Captain. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Not really. Time to cut the rebar. <laughs> okay. Make sure they're 15 inches. Or fish. Are you sure you don't want to just cut one as a test run? I'm sure. Okay. Here I go. You're the boss on this one. You do your thing. for you. Aren't I awesome? Yeah. That's right. All right, keep going. Okay. Is this your last cut? No. No? your last cut. My depth perception must be off today. one in? I would love to. <laughs> That's better. Yeah. All right, so we'll replace all of them that go all around the outer edges. <laughs> what are you doing? You got water. Do that again. the rain needs to dry out and then you're gonna epoxy them right correct all oh gosh well there's 56 in here and i remember it was like 45 or something over there it's a lot of epoxy. Yeah. but not today no. we do have one more task for today yes it's time to unroll rebar wire mesh and roll it back up We had so much fun the first time when rolling and re-rolling the mesh for the garage that we get to do it all again. Twice more. Twice more. This time for the dome. We will unroll it, flip it, and then roll it back up in the hopes that it will not be super kinky and sticking up when we put it down it on pretty, the forms. They're pretty decent when we did the garage, so... 
It works. Yeah, it laid pretty flat. Yeah. There's a couple of bumps here and there, but in general, it did a pretty good job. All right. Time to let gravity do its thing. Hooray! Here we go! This time though, what goes down must come up. Hundred fifty feet worth. Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> Pretty good. He's definitely not a rocket. Because of all the rain, before this can go in here, this has to go in there first. And <coughs> blow out all the water. Jeez. It's on my face. It's on your camera too. <laughs> Continue. I'm gonna keep a safe distance this time. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's funny. It's dirty. <laughs> What's in store for today? Glue in the anchors. What are you using? The Sika Pro Select Super Strength Anchoring Adhesive. You could have just said epoxy. <laughs> epoxy. <laughs> Alright, so this is the kind of stuff where what you cut it open, you gotta mix it. Yep. So you snippy snip snip. I think that's more accurately a cutty cut cut. Cutty cut cut. She doesn't want a cutty cut cut. off then you throw on and drop <laughs> and then reattach this and then you got to make sure that it mixes and it actually looks like that's mixing right away so that's a good sign yeah you know what I'm not even gonna waste it so how could you tell it was mixed because it it's gray. Instead of the dark. Instead of either dark or just like white. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. Flip it right there. Okay, so there's the dark part and the white part, and it becomes gray. Yep. So, into the hole it goes. Her in and twist, twist, and twist, and twist, and done. Okay, so you put the goop in first because, and then you stick the, the pole post in. Yes, so that you can get the whole entire hole saturated with Sika Pro Select <laughs> Super Strength Anchoring Adhesive. And we're done here. <laughs> hundred more to go? Uh, a little less than that, but yeah. Okay. Adhesive away.
Super Pro Select. <laughs> you gonna fly away on me over there? I'm trying, trying to get an aerial view. <laughs> Another mile an hour or two, I'll be airborne. Oh boy, this breeze. It's more than a breeze today. So much for getting any more insulation cut. Time you did finish yep. epoxying in all of the rebar yep. for both the dome and the garage. So those are all set. Yep. So at least there's something. You could probably tie the rebar to the rebar wire mesh next, but I don't have that tool that comes tomorrow. No, yeah, it comes tomorrow. So. Alright, well once we get that we'll finish the garage and then that'll be ready for the at least. Yeah. And hopefully the wind will die down so we can start cutting more insulation. Won't be tomorrow. Tomorrow's rain all day. Oh, you're just a bucket full of sunshine today, aren't you? Trying to fly away. Find a happy place. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Still funny.